Hello everybody, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel. Welcome to week one of our brand new track guide series here on iRacing. And this season, we are focusing on the Global Mazda MX-5 Cup. Now, the Global Mazda series is probably the most popular series on iRacing. Always good racing with it being a slower car. But there can be a little bit of rough and tumble. And in this series, you do need to get your elbows out to get some overtakes done. So if you followed my track guides before, you'll know that they are not a place for hot laps. It's a slow, methodical approach to learn the circuit where we talk about my braking markers, my reference points, and the little quirks that each circuit has. So as usual, I will show you a flying lap in full. Then we'll jump in the car, do a few laps, and show you those braking markers and reference points in action. So enough talking, let's get on track. So here we are on the main straight here at Sakuba. So as usual, we've set the sim time to match the official series. So it's the 18th of December, 2021. And the time in the sim is 12 noon. We're also using the iRacing baseline setup, which is what is used in the official series. And track temperature right now for information is 31 degrees. Exactly the same as it was in the flying lap that you've just seen. So Sakuba, a fun little circuit. Quite difficult to overtake, but it's all about corner exit for me. And I apex most of the corners quite late. There are a couple of lines round. You can take a tighter line, but I feel that it just protects the tyres a little bit more, apexing them quite later and using as much of the circuit as we possibly can. So turn number one, approaching it on the left-hand side. And you can see there's a, an access road on the left-hand side there. And there's green railing we're kind of breaking in between those kind of round about here we're going to be breaking quite hard initially maybe about 70 percent and we're going to be breaking in a straight line we're going all the way down to first gear we're going to be apexing this one quite late and as soon as you see these little tufts of darker grass on the right hand side there that's when you can get on the accelerator and we're going to push all the way out wide use a bit of the curb on the exit all the way up to third gear down here. Use these curbs. Make the track as short as you possibly can. Then move the car right over to the right-hand side for this tricky little left-hander. It is cambered, but you can understeer quite easily on entry. So this access road on the right-hand side there, we're going to be breaking just as that begins or the end of the curb on the right-hand side. We're going to be breaking in a straight line initially. Again, quite hard initial braking, 80 90%, then bleeding off the brakes quite quickly because we want to be trail braking all the way to the apex and all the way down to first gear again we're going to be apexing this one quite late and as soon as you see the Sakuba circuit and Gran Turismo sign as long as you've got the car back as soon as you see those that's your cue to stamp on the accelerator and let the car run all the way out wide use a bit of this curb on the exit but then we need to get the car right back over to the left up to second gear again this is where Knowing how wide your car is and knowing where your car sits on the track is really important because we need to open up this right-hand turn. So we're second gear now. So just before the turn, we're going to lift just to transfer all the weight to the front tyres just to give them a little bit extra grip. 
that will then make the car rotate a little bit easier kiss this apex on the right and get on the gas on the apex the car will run out wide hold second gear until you start negotiating this left turn then up to third let the car run all the way up wide don't try and hold a tight line there because that will scrub a little bit of speed off so just try and let the car drift out wide then slowly bring it back for this right hander here and the braking marker here is just before the end of the astroturf on the left hand side they can just see it to the left of the car and we're going to be braking in a straight line again an apex in this one quite late all the way down into second gear and again there's some darker patches of grass just to the right of our car there now as soon as you see those as soon as you get alongside those get on the gas and then the car will push all the way out wide let it let it go all the way out wide don't try and hold a tighter line because that will just scrub off a bit of speed and the mazda it's all about keeping going forward not scrubbing any speed off laterally and all the way up to fourth gear down here but the but probably the trickiest corner on the circuit it's really really difficult to judge this one so there's some blue bales there on the left hand side that's what we're going to be using as our braking marker and it's really really gentle progressive braking here don't stamp on the brakes because you'll just get a load of understeer so all we want the car to do is just slow down a little bit and start moving towards the apex nice and gentle so just light initial braking trail brake in third gear and we just want the car pointing towards the apex balancing it on the throttle and as soon as you get to this point then we can accelerate and use all of this on the exit you won't get off track we'll slowly try and pick up the pace now so braking just after the access road all the way down into first gear we're going to apex this one really late there's the dark piece of grass so it means we can get on the accelerator up to second use these curbs up to third then just at the access road on the right hand side we're going to be braking down into first gear apex in this one quite late looking for those signs there they are that means we can get on the gas move the car over to the left a little lift just to get the car pointing where we need it to point and get on the gas at the apex change direction up to third let the car drift out wide then move it back just before the end of the astro turf we're going to be braking down into first gear apex in quite late get on the gas let the car run all the way out wide a very very short lap here at Sakuba. So again we're looking for the blue bales on the left hand side and we're just going to be braking really gently and down to third just playing with the throttle get it pointing kind of where we need it to be and get on the gas let the car run all the way out wide and up to fourth after the access road down to first gear nice and tight apex late get on the gas up to second up to third move the car over to the right hand side just before the access road all the way down to first gear apex late looking for the signs there they are that means we can get on the gas just a little lift before we turn then back on at the apex car will run wide let it drift all the way out to the right hand side then slowly move it back just before the end of the astroturf all the way down to first gear and we're going to apex this one late Again, we're looking for the bales on the left you've got to be very very gentle with your braking here out the third gear just let it drift towards the apex then get on the gas and there we go that's a lap of Sakuba. nice steady lap lap times are probably going to be in the 102s high 102s in the top split but that was a 103.7 uh, a bit off the pace but there's still a lot more time in the car there that was still on coolish tires let's talk about pit entry pit exit and where i think you can overtake here at sakuba so if you need to make a pit stop in the global mazda series you've either got a slowdown which you haven't cleared and you've got a penalty or you've got some damage that you need to go in for your fast repair now the pit entry at Tsukuba it's quite tricky because it's very very narrow so you need to be careful because there's grass on either side so just as you go around the final turn or just before we need to move over into pit lane and it's a long right and it's very very narrow just like a car width you just be very very careful 
And you can see these marshals on the right hand side there. When you see them, you know that the pit entry is coming up. Then down to first and pit limiter on. 60 kilometers an hour, it's not too bad. But just be careful going round the right hander with the grass on either side. Right, I'll show you that on a flying lap. Okay, here we go. So we're going to move over to the right hand side. Enter pit lane and then we're going to be going down to third gear. Nice and steady. Let the car get round. Just be, just be careful on here. Down to second. Down to first. Pit limiter on. Dead easy. Dead straightforward as long as you watch the grass. We'll talk about pit exit while we're here. There's the green cones. That's where we can release the limiter. Again, with most circuits, all you need to be mindful of when you release the pit limiter now is you're pretty much at the turning point for turn number one. So if you've gone in for your fast repair and there's guys coming around to lap you, just bear in mind that they're going to be turning in at this point. So just adhere to the blue flag, just back off, let them guys go and then just join in and jump in behind as soon as you can. Right, overtaken though, that's a different kettle of fish. Where can we get it done at Sakuba? So, overtaking at Sakuba, it's really difficult. There's the obvious places up the inside in the heavy braking zones, but most of the overtakes have got to be set up probably one or two corners in advance. And it's all about the exit of the turns. That's where you're going to have to get it done. So, turn one, obviously up the inside, if somebody doesn't defend, you're going to take that. But the chances are somebody is going to defend. So you're going to have to make them or try and get them over as far as you can on the right hand side. Try and squeeze them in as much as you possibly can. And then at the last minute, you want to alter your line and try and get a better exit. So hopefully they're going to be on the right hand side of the circuit now, really tight up against the curb. And then their exit as a result is going to be compromised and we can get a good run out here. And maybe just get half a car width in front going into this left hand turn because the chances are if they're defending into turn one, they're going to defend going into this turn. And this is where you're going to really set it up into the right-hand kink just before we go under the bridge. So we've got a good exit out of turn number one. Hopefully, because their exit has been compromised, we're going to be half a car length or so in front at this stage. Again, we're going to pinch them in really tight and then alter our line at the last moment. But because we're going wider, that means that our turn isn't as sharp and we can get on the gas a little bit earlier than they can and when we do that as long as we're on the inside at this point then we've got the move done going around this right hand kink and if we don't have the move done if they hold it around the outside there well then there's no way they're going to hold it around the outside for this next right hand turn so that would be my advice you start setting it up turn number one and you might only be getting the move done properly in this turn Another place to overtake is on the exit of the final turn. Again, similar principle. Somebody's got to defend. And if somebody holds a tight line around this final turn, they're going to be a lot slower than you would be taking a normal line. So again, pinch them in, move over at the last moment, and then we're going to try and take our normal line. Again, their exit is going to be compromised. And hopefully you can get a nice good run and sail past them before turn number one so there's my tips start setting the move up turn number one to get on the inside on the second to last turn or get them on the exit of the final turn but it's the global mazda series there's gonna have to be elbows out and a little bit of door banging to get the job done so there we go that's week one done here at okiyama please let me know down below in the comments how you get on what were your times before the guide what were your times after did I help? Did I cover everything that you wanted to be covered in a truck guide? Next week, we go to the wonderful Okayama, the full circuit, which is always fun in the Mazda. As always, thank you for watching. Good luck this week. Keep it pinned.